gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, got a little bit of St. Paul and the Broken Bones, and they're going to be talking about waves. And if y'all don't know about waves, this is from the TV series, one of the theme songs in one of Suits episodes. Up to the sky. And so I'm uh, Broken Bones and St. Paul. Appreciator. Okay. So St. Paul and the Broken Bones. And they're singing waves. Just in case any of you wanted to go and check out the song. Ladies and gentlemen, hey, uh, St. Paul, one second, bruh. Ladies and gentlemen, I had a chance to listen to several of their songs and basically a couple of the albums. And I'm a fan of their style, of their music, St. Paul and the Broken Bones. I know, I know, I know. The title doesn't really fit, fit, fit. But, ladies and gentlemen, doesn't matter. The music fits. All right. Can we talk for a moment? Now, I'm when I say can we talk, I'm not doing Tevin Campbell. I'm not making up something. I'm being serious. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't have an inner circle. I don't have a group of people that I go to. There are a bunch of things I'd like to bounce off people, but I can't. I can't even bounce it off of you all. Because many of you are not at a level to where you can perceive the information in a manner in which to go in a right direction. Many of you will take what I give you and you'll mix it with the junk that you were given by others. You see, what I'm giving you is not junk. I'm giving you stuff that needs to be verified because you have to confirm what I'm saying. Okay, and... I need Mr. Lee, you need to give me a call. Okay, Mr. Lee knows who he is. That's that's the first one, okay? Uh, because you have to send your paperwork in the way it says on the site. So you haven't followed those directions, which is why they haven't communicated back with you because they don't have a way to communicate back because you haven't given them anything. All right, take care of that part right there. Had to, ladies and gentlemen, because that's uh, one of those absolutely necessary things. My phone, for some reason, today has blocked someone from calling me. I didn't block this person, but apparently, true caller system, it has a blocking mechanism where some people have been receiving calls from certain agencies, and it's the same number like Amazon or something, they, they block it. And so they put it in as a block call, and so when it comes into me, it goes straight to voicemail. I'm not happy with that feature of true caller, but I am happy with the feature of true caller that allows me to record calls whether I'm using a headset, Bluetooth set, or anything else, it records no matter what, both sides of the conversation. So if you, ladies and gentlemen, need a phone recording app for your phone, True Caller does recording. It's a Swiss, uh, Switzerland, and India app. And yes, I tell you it's the only one that I've found that you're able to do that with. Now, hold on. Apple also has one that does it. So you guys will have to look for that one. All right, let me get on to explaining what I need to get on to. Ladies and gentlemen, I told everybody that I needed your help, and I haven't received it, and that's too bad, on the tax credits, trying to figure out how to take the tax credits and apply it to using it to pay for something. So <laughs> this is so obvious, it's pathetic. Like, you know, poetic, pathetic. Mama, he pathetic. No, he ain't Paul, honey. He just stupid. No, I said pathetic. Yeah, I know, honey. I said he ain't Paul. He just stupid. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this one ain't working, so I'm going to have to go to another browser. I'm, I'm shutting that one down. Forget that. I ain't got time. I, I don't have time for that stupidity. We're going to go to this, and as I told everybody earlier in the other video, that this stuff was going to take hours to upload. 
ladies and gentlemen, this should have uploaded already. Because I started this. God. I, I promise you I am surprised. I started these videos. They're 15 minutes long, ladies and gentlemen. 15 minutes, and this one was done second. I told you this is what Google does, people. This one's 13 minutes long, so why does it take over an hour? It's two hours for this video. This one was uploaded first. Two hours. Okay, this is me letting you know this is what Google does. And I'm supposed to get upset. Why would I get upset? One way or another, it's going to be up. Why do you keep using YouTube? Because YouTube has a vaster audience, and most of my people contact me through YouTube. No, I'm not going to go to another platform. I do have accounts with other platforms. I'm about to start uploading some of the videos that I've already done on the other platforms, just in case. But for right now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to stay right here. I ain't going nowhere. All right, ladies and gentlemen, watch this. Ladies and gentlemen, let's not play games anymore. I love my boy Maxwell when he says, let's not play the game. Okay, I think that that is a unique song. If you listen to the words, you'll understand. The rhythm of that song is, man, let's not play the game. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not playing games anymore. Forget society. Forget everything. We have letters that we need to produce. Why? Because we have the credit. We have the tax credit. Why aren't we writing letters of credit? I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, it seems so obvious. So what I put in is a sample US bank letter of credit. Now, it didn't like the PDF part, so copy. That's OK. You ain't got to like PDF. We can go to the Gmail. Hey, what up, G? <laughs> Man, I'm just dealing with some mails. That's all. That, that's it. Uh, Gmail? What's going on? Uh, Google? G-O-O-G-L-E dot C-O-M. Google.com. 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 So, sorry, I have way too many windows open here. I think this is like 56 or 80 windows. So, you don't believe me? Let's take a trip. Are we there yet? Okay, that's how many windows I got open in just this one browser. Come on, Google, what you waiting on? Google, oh, I'm sorry, that's what Google has been doing. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. That's what they've been doing. They've been slowing down my searches. Uh, that's called net neutrality. And they literally have been slowing down my searches. No, we're going to do, yeah. I was showing somebody about assistance of counsel. Uh, so that's what that definition is, because we were doing assistance definition. G-O-O-G-L-E dot C-O-M. Google, we're going to do a search right here. I like this feature. That's a unique feature in Cuckoo, Cuckoo, Cuckoo. So, ladies and gentlemen, what? The website is called, uh, the browser is called Cuckoo. Like the cuckoo clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. So that you can remember it easy. It's Vietnamese, and I'm going to tell you something. Not a bad browser. I like it. Aw, uh, see, it, they're messing with my bandwidth, y'all. And my bandwidth is okay, because this is the 27th of the month. My bandwidth is more than okay. I don't want to, I don't care about no ID me. Yeah, get, get rid of uh, that junk. I didn't ask you for that. Get rid of you too. Sorry, I'm going to put y'all on pause and then it should take us there. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies and gents, let me tell you, it's been an hour to an hour and a half since I put this thing on pause because I had a person who paid for a consult, but we needed to have the initial conversation. This young lady who just paid for a consult, name is Dorothy. We had an initial conversation. Dorothy told me everything she
she did get everything she had done. Ooh, wait. Dorothy told me what she had done with her own property. Dorothy did something with her own property. She took care of some paperwork. Dorothy didn't have nobody to tell her you need to do this, you need to do that. Dorothy said, I'm going to try this, I'm going to try that. And Dorothy tried something simple, ladies and gentlemen. It had nothing to do with the letter of credit. I'm just telling you about what Dorothy did because she went to see the wizard. And she gave the wizard some paperwork. And she said, hey, wizard, guess what, mother? I ain't following no yellow brick road no more. Here is the roadblock. We're under new construction. To my property, you don't belong here. I don't have no contract with you. Ladies and gentlemen, it worked. Nobody can say anything about her paperwork because she did something that not even I would have thought to do, even though I know I can't tell it to you because I told Dorothy that I'm going to help her start her own company doing that. Not where I get a benefit, but where she gets the benefit. Dorothy is, she is six years older than me. Dorothy has lived her life doing manual labor. Dorothy needs a break. And I'm going to help Dorothy get a break. That's what our consult is going to be about. And I'm going to give Dorothy not an hour and 45 minutes. No, Dorothy's going to get two and a half hours of my time. Hour and 45 minutes plus another hour on top of that. Okay? That's what Dorothy's going to get from me. Why? Because Dorothy gave some information to me that could benefit the rest of you. But, again, I have to determine how to get that information to you guys. Now, hold on now. Let me tell you all something. I'll put in, we're going to talk about this now, okay? Hey, come on now. We got my boys in the background, y'all. St. Paul. Now, while they're in my background talking about let the waves, let the waves. Song is called The Wave. Well, it's called Wave. No the, just waves. Waves. <laughs> Bye-bye, baby. Suzuki! Anyway, like, you don't remember that Suzuki commercial? Hi, baby! Hi! Okay, Suzuki. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, a sample U.S. bank letter of credit. That's what I put in. Ladies and gentlemen, see this right here? Letter of credit. The following sample language could be letter of credit work. Letter of credit work? A letter of credit is a bank document that guarantees a payment. Oh, my stars. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I love me, and I love my thinking. Now, what were you talking about, homie? Well, see, my thinking is if I go back to, hold on, let me see if I can show y'all. Let the ways, let the ways. Ladies and gentlemen, I need to go here first to see if this pulled up letter of credit work. I don't think that's the proper title, but while I'm doing this, letter of credit works. Okay? Seller protection, buyer protection, escrow, key points, example, manufacturer, blah, blah, blah. I need to see the sample letter. See a visual step-by-step -step example. Mother, that's what I'm talking about. The money behind the letter of credit. Y'all need to go here, okay? So the balance, okay, is the name of this site. The balance, forward slash loans, letter of credit example, how money and documents move. Read this, people. This is for your benefit, okay? You want to use your tax credits? You want to figure out how to use the tax credits? Well, go and see if anybody else is putting out any information like this. Go! I dare you! And don't come back to me without some evidence, mother. Ladies and gentlemen, let the waves. Oh, by the way, Dorothy's only been listening to my videos for, pay attention, a couple of weeks. This is what I say to all of you. The only way you find your way here to my videos is if you were looking for some specific information. Not because you clicked on a link, but you were looking for some specific information. Not because you were curious. 
but you're looking for some specific information to help you with your specific situation. That's how you find my videos. Those are my people, ladies and gentlemen, but some of y'all are not getting that. My people are the people who are directed here, not by chance, but because they actually needed the information. Not because they were coming here to siphon off of me. Those are not my people. My people are the people who were guided here. When the night, you understand, has come, because they realize they can lean on the information. They can use the information to acquire what they're seeking, and that is redress. See, she didn't call me because she had a problem, ladies and gentlemen, but I told her, oh no, since we can prove that you've been paying on your mortgage for the last 20 years, and you've documented that the banks never owned your property, and there was proof, Ooh, let the ways, let the ways got to hold on, y'all. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that was, I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. And so that was the service, let me know, that we're going to be picking you up. That's right, they take me to my doctor's appointment because I don't feel like driving. Oh, Stan, it ain't letting me get presidential proclamation. Look, look, ladies and gentlemen, go and read Presidential Proclamation 2039. You'll see that you are a banking institution. Banking institution is anyone who is does any banking business. Go ahead and look at what a banking institution is at the bottom of the act. Anyone involved in banking business. This proclamation is still extant. Congress has no jurisdiction over this. This is the executive branch, and they will never get rid of Presidential Proclamation 2039. Presidential Proclamation 2039 will survive you and everybody else. Why? Because it's the thing that allows the banks to function today. It's the thing that allows the Federal Reserve and the Federal Reserve notes and emergency scripts to exist today. And because of that, y'all need to pay attention to these sample letters of credit examples. Learn, people. Go and see why they're issued. See, funding? When the bank issues a letter of credit, the bank makes a promise, and the bank is responsible for sending money. That's what makes the letter of credit a safe, uh, so safe for sellers. The fact that the bank takes responsibility for the payment because of that, the bank needs to be confident that the buyer can fund the payment. Before the bank issues a letter of credit, the buyer may have to deposit the funds into the bank. Ladies and gentlemen, your letter of credit, the funds are already deposited. The federal government just gave you the letter, they gave you the credit. You already have the credit. It's already funded. Who we'll the credit? <laughs> Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, you don't have any idea that this is what I was thinking about, and I decided to share it with you guys. Normally, I keep it to myself. Okay? We're not even going to go here. Forget you. Uh-uh. We're not even going to go here. We're not going to go here. Come on now. Minimize. We're going to go here. Oh, by the way, that was Benny King. And now we got my peoples. And they're going to be talking, doing again, doing again, doing, doing. This is for the monthly report for SACOM. That, that's not your business, so don't worry about that. This is a letter of credit, y'all. Remember I told y'all, letter of credit is the checklist for the rhyming. Wait, hold on. Let me say something. Sometimes the writing. Okay. Come on now. Give me my, give me, that's what I want to do. I got to change it just for a second. So, I got to save. See how I hit save? Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that, and I'm going to hit save again. Sometimes the rain fills me in the sound. I mean, I heard the sound yesterday. That was the sound of a train.
We told you, we give you all the information on how to start your own debt correction company. It's all right here. Okay, all the information you need on credit is here on this site. But we're going to put this off by itself. No, we're not going to put it in credit debt, ladies and gentlemen. Can't do that. And the reason why I can't do that is because it's too cluttered there. So what we're going to do, since this is a mortgage issue, and many people are trying to figure out how to pay off their mortgages, we're going to put it in the PDF. And let's see if we can put it in financial documents. Financial documents is empty. Isn't that a good place to put it, y'all? So letter of credit, financial documents. Hey, woo -hoo, woo -hoo. somebody slow that train down. A lot to have on the clock. Y'all know how I am about my staple scenes. <laughs> Y'all just don't know. Even the movie caught my attention. Okay? She ain't a girl that can leave. She, she feels like a butterfinger. You know what a butterfinger does, right? It melts in your hair and your mouth and all over the place, and now you got a mess. Butterfingers, y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, let me stop my staple singers because I don't know them to stop them for just anything. Like I said, there are a lot of things that I go over in my own head since I've had some moronic individuals out there claiming that I get my information from other people. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish that was the case, because if I got my information from other people, then I would give those people credit, because that's how you do when you get something that doesn't belong to you. Ladies and gentlemen, I get my information because Jehovah, the God that I serve, my God, not your God, my God, allows me to have that information. Okay? Just that simple. And there are a lot of you who don't understand my God, because you, in your mind, think that we're serving the same God. If we were serving the same God, then you wouldn't have to justify how you're serving the same God. See, all of my people who are Jehovah's Witnesses recognize that they are serving the same God. Not because they are Jehovah's Witnesses, but they understand the God that I'm talking about. I'm not talking about your God. I'm talking about my God. Okay? I'm not going to sit here and explain it. I'm going to let the information you're getting and the information I just put up on this video support where I'm coming from. See, we've always had this problem of our letters of credit. And now you can do it certified if you do it right. Shh! Again, you have to do that research. I'm showing you where to get started. Ladies and gentlemen, I got a headache because I've been going nonstop, nonstop, nonstop. You've seen this video. This video is... 23 minutes long, but I've been having consults and having conversations with other people and helping people who are incarcerated and everything all today, all today, and answering phones and dealing with UPS and FedEx, and I haven't eaten. And right now, it is 68 degrees, and I have not eaten. And if it was 72, 74, then I would have a massive headache, but the headache is just not starting, so I have to let you guys know. Well, I can go eat and take care of myself because everybody keeps telling me you need to take care of yourself. And I say, why don't I let the government take care of me? They seem to be doing such a wonderful job. All right, take care of yourselves, everybody. I hope this information is beneficial. If not, <laughs> I'll tell your mom.